cancel culture. It's a recent trend that's seen thousands joining together on social media to slay giants of the entertainment world for their transgressions. This week, Don Cherry was canceled. The masses voiced their displeasure online after the Coach's Corner co-host appeared to take aim at immigrants, who he claims aren't buying poppies. Two words change the whole thing. And that's, that's the way the world is today. Don't say anything like I did because then you'll be gone. Here for 38 years, gone in a flash. That's the reality for Don Cherry, and he's not alone. CNN says it has cut ties with Kathy Griffin. ABC canceled its top primetime series, Roseanne, because of a racist tweet. Cancel culture has to do with us as consumers feeling we're empowered to voice our opinions about what we like and what we don't like. Ellen Hislop is the co-founder of The Gist, a sports forum and website built by and for women. She's been keeping tabs on the evolution of cancel culture as millions have been using their keyboards to chop down some of the biggest names in the country and beyond. If it was still 2019, but social media didn't exist, cancel culture didn't exist, would Don Cherry still be employed this Saturday night? Maybe they would have potentially given him an opportunity to get back on air and get back on Coach's Corner and say what he wanted to say. Many who are fuming over Cherry being dismissed from Hockey Night in Canada now find themselves pounding their smartphone screens, calling for Jess Allen's head, a co-host on The Social, who said the following while characterizing young male hockey players. And they all tended to be white boys who weren't, um, let's say, very nice. They were not generally thoughtful. They were often bullies. Uh, their parents were able to afford to put them, you know, spend $5,000 a year on minor hockey. Allen thus far has survived the online lynching. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens with that. I think it is potentially an attempt at cancel culture. Recently, Barack Obama condemned the social media trend. There is this sense sometimes of the way of me making change is to be as judgmental as possible about other people. And that's enough. Like if I tweet or hashtag about how you didn't do something right, that's not activism. That, that's not bringing about change. Who is actually making the change are the outlets who are canceling shows or firing personalities. Social media is forcing the hand of these companies. What's going to be interesting is what if a company just said no and said, no, we're still sticking with it despite the cancel culture. Don Cherry claims that nobody at Hockey Night in Canada said anything to him as he went off the air and went home Saturday night. It wasn't until the next day, as the posts continued to stream in online, that he says he was contacted.